my channel. Ow, Oof, just stabbed myself in the finger with my ring. Ow. Today we are doing my favorite red lips for summer. These reds are a little bit more juicy and fruity undertoned, a little bit lighter and brighter than something I would pick for the colder months. And I'm also covering all different types of coverages, all different types of formulations from glossy and sheer like the one I'm wearing right now to fully opaque, full coverage, a little bit more of a deeper summer red. So please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to continue doing this. I'm thinking about doing like my favorite summer pinks, favorite summer nudes, and favorite summer oranges. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also guys, please be sure to come follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and on Instagram because I am always on Instagram when I'm not on YouTube. And uh, yeah, let's get into the lip favorites now. Just so that you guys know, I am gonna prep my lips with a little bit of lip liner. I'm using MAC Whirl, and I just like to use the lip liner to give myself a little bit of a guide. Whirl works really well for my skin tone just because it's not too dark and it's not too light. I find that it's one of the perfect nude lip liners for myself just so that it doesn't really interfere with whatever color I put on it. 100 Degrees is a sheer formulation lipstick and it has a lot of really nice balm like qualities. It's smooth, creamy, it feels very hydrating on the lips, has a good amount of slip, and because of it being a little bit more sheer, it's a great option for those of you who want to switch up your look and try something a little bit more bold this summer but don't want to commit to something that seems so much more attention grabbing. You get a pop of color but it's nothing intimidating. And on myself personally, I feel like this pulls a really beautiful red with strong strawberry pink undertones. This is Bites Liquefied Lip in Flambe, which is a beautiful coral based red. And here's Flambe on the lips. It is a gorgeous fiery coral undertone red, beautiful glossy finish, it feels amazing and creamy on the lips. The Bite Liquefied Amouge Boucher liquid lips are amazing. If not this color, then check out some other ones because I really love this line of lipsticks, but I just thought that this specific red is very beautiful and with the gorgeous undertones, I think it's perfect for summertime. Okay, now I'm doing Rouge Dior 634. This is a beautiful, strong, creamy matte red. You guys have seen me use this on my channel a couple times because it is one of my favorite all-time reds, but it's a little bit brighter, so I think it's perfect for the summertime. On myself personally, I do feel like Dior Rouge 634 pulls a true fire engine red. It is creamy despite being a matte finish. I love it because your lips still have like a ton of slip. It's a very comfortable wear matte and it's a little bit brighter of a red and that's why I think it's perfect for summertime guys. So yeah, Rouge Dior 634, one of my faves. This is Max Lip Tensity Lipstick in Fire Roasted. Fire Roasted is a beautiful deep brick undertoned red so it's got a lot of brown in it but I feel like it's not too dark to be pulled off as a summer color. I feel like it makes your teeth look so much white. It's a very power, attention demanding red. And can you just imagine yourself in this lipstick with like your hair slicked back in a low bun in a white sundress with like some statement earrings? Yes, this is the power red of the summer, guys. Another one of my all-time favorites, but especially during the warmer months, is Dragon Girl by NARS. Dragon Girl holds such a special <laughs> holds such a special place in my heart. I love Dragon Girl. It was one of the first red lipsticks I ever purchased for myself. So it's always gonna be like up there in specialness for me. Here is Dragon Girl on the lips. It is a beautiful velvet rope red. These NARS velvet matte lip pencils are incredible for giving you full coverage, opaque color with a really beautiful matte finish, but it doesn't feel like anything on the lips. Like it literally feels like nothing and it's not drying. It's just, they're, they're weightless, they're incredible. So Dragon Girl, special to me, but one of the best in the summer. Another one of my favorite red lip colors for the summertime is another NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This one is in Red Square. This one's a little bit more of a tangerine based red. Ugh, red and orange lip colors just really get me in the summertime. And this one is for those of you who really want to do an orangey lip color, but want to keep it true to a red because you're not ready to like fully venture off into an orange lipstick this is for you because it's still red but you get all the fun tangerine vibes as well. Next up is another one that's a little bit more in the sheer family so 
Guys, it's hard to talk. So great for those of you who don't want something fully opaque. It is the YSL Veloup Tint in Balm in number four, which is a really pretty strawberry red. The smell and taste of these is addictive. Ding. They are so comfortable. They glide on your lips. They have a nice slip to them. Beautiful YSL packaging and just a gorgeous sheer strawberry red. My lips are getting progressively more red and chapped as we swatch these. <laughs> Another really pretty sheer red gloss. This is Bang from the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Collection. Sheer, super glossy, true candy apple red. These high fi shine lip glosses are awesome because they are a little bit more tacky, so they have a lot more staying power than some other lip glosses. So I really love two of the YSL Tatouage Couture lip stains. I think these are both really pretty orangey reds. The first one I'm going to show you is a little bit more orangey. Um, this is number 13. Number 13 is a really beautiful like melon undertone red. I really like how these are matte but still manage to look kind of like a gel on the lips and they go on the lips like a gel as well. They're still sheer but have a matte finish. They are a very unique formulated lip color and that's why I wanted to include these in the video for you guys because the formulation of them is unlike anything else I've seen. Last one is the shade number one. Seriously, the perfect dynamite stick, fire, spicy pepper red. I'm in love with this one and it's actually the last color that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So let's double check that I don't have anything on my teeth. I really hope that you guys have found this video informative and you found a couple red shades that you're interested in trying this summer. Please be sure to let me know if you guys do want me to continue this series and do oranges, like corally oranges, pinks, and then maybe like summertime nudes as well. I would be so happy to do that. And please be sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you guys didn't earlier. And product links, information, all the stuff you guys want to know will be in the description box down below. And I will also have my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my Instagram. So come follow me on there, especially Instagram because I am always on Instagram when I am not on YouTube, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye, guys.